It's champion chase day, baby. We're about to do this right now. Dive on into it and really progress because this fusion has been killing me. My God, we killed the fire knight though. Let me get you guys up to date before we go anymore. We got the fire knight done. Fantastic. We have a little bit more work to do on the uh, dungeon diver, but we have time. We have 19 hours left and I'm trying to use my energy in a conserving fashion. I don't want to just waste anything. This we will have no problem. And we're gonna we're gonna crush this right now for the champion chase. We are going to do it. Then we have to do a whole bunch of upgrade stuff as well because this one, two days left, two days plus, thank God, because this one is a lot more work. We're gonna be getting to all that. Plus, we'll be able to pull a bunch of champions that we could use for that training. So, before we get into this amazing goodness, I wanna first thank all of you for coming to the channel. If you're new here, consider subscribing because every single day I take you on my journey inside of this game and I love it. It's nice. In addition to that, if you've never played Raid Shadow Legends, I have a QR code and a link in the description which allows you to download the game, get a free champion, and a bunch of free rewards along the way to boost your account right from the start. And more importantly, most importantly, it supports me here on this channel so I can continue bringing you these videos. Why wait? We're summoning right now. I hope I have enough silver. Let's see. What are we grabbing right here? Oh, okay. We got ourselves Herzod Deep Heart. Is he good? I, this is the problem. I don't know if he looks like he's all right. I don't know which one of these guys are good and which ones aren't. The main thing is we just got ourselves 50 points for that progression. Now, if we want to see a little bit a little bit deeper here onto what we're going to actually be getting, we get energy along the way. We need energy, we get energy, but also get champions by any means necessary. Shards, the market, campaign, etc., and win rewards. You see what I'm saying right here? And we only need 3,000 points, by the way. How can we do this? Well, first of all, how about this? I got this guy hanging out from Amazon. Boom, we're gonna collect him. That should have been 250 points. Wait, was it not? It was not? Did I not get points? Okay, I thought I could get points for that. Maybe I was wrong. We could also get it from here though. We could summon him, right? Let's summon this guy. This should be some points, right? Bring me points. We, all, we accidentally did one of him, you know, prematurely. There's 350 tournament points. The other one I just grabbed from my satchel. Should have been points too. We got this guy. He's gonna be part of the fusion. We uh, we don't care much about him besides that he's gonna get us our mons. All right, so we got that done. Cool. We're looking great with all this, by the way. And already, we just are gonna grab ourselves 100 energy. So at the end of this, as we close the video, we'll be doing 350 worth of energy that we could just drop into Spider, which is gonna get me silver for artifact enhancement, and it's gonna allow me to progress deeper into Dungeon Divers, getting pretty close to completing it, and then I'll use gems to finish anything else that I need. We are still looking good for gems for the rest of this entire fusion. There's also a two times chance of epic and legendary champs. What are the odds here, by the way? Void, 83% chance of a rare, 16% chance of an epic, 1% chance of a legendary. Let's see if we can get a legendary today. Let's go, we're going right into it, come on. Give me that extra luck. I would love one legendary, just one. Another rare, we've had him before. We've had Ox, I believe I've used him as food in the past. I don't think, uh, I have a list of some champs here that are really good. Let me, let me consult with my list. Nope, he's not on my list. We're diving in again, we're diving in again. At, at, at least some epics, dude. We've had, have we had her? Huntress, I believe we've had her. But we haven't been as excited about the rares as we were in the past. We've been really trying to push ourselves more towards the epics and the legendaries. Another rare. Oh, we've had him before. Doom Screech is actually one that I believe is one that's supposedly worth holding on to. Let's keep going. I'm not excited yet. I'm not hyped yet. Another rare. Come on! Who's this guy? He's new. Moikulus. He's kind of cool looking. He's like a troll. All right, we're summoning another one. Come on, veteran. What's up? You're another orc. Uh, let's actually check out where we are as far as points go. Remember, we don't only have the voids either. We have we have others that we can pull. But I would love it if I could only take advantage of the voids. We got up to 650 points. I think we can get it just from voids alone today. Let's keep going though. Let's go. Yeah, I'm in short. See? Oh, hello. Skirmisher. Come on, let's pull out another one. Let's go. An epic! Yes, we got an epic. Who is this guy? Tolf the Maimed. Tolf the Maimed. I gotta check out if this guy's good. 
Finally an epic. An overall rating of a two. A two, come on. All right, we got an epic, but he's apparently not that good of an epic. But it does give us 350 points for the summon. I can't believe I summoned the other, the other uh, fusion champion. It would have been a free 350 points. Mistakes were made, but we're a third of the way there. If I could pull in a legendary, legendaries are 650. A legendary would greatly help me here. Just one. That's all we're asking for. One of them. Let's go. It's now our time. No, it's a rare. We got a weekly, weekly quest complete. Let's see what that's all about. Oh, oh, and it's given us another shard. By the way, we're crushing these things. Look, monthly crushed, advanced crushed. We, we don't freaking play. We're not just messing around. We are grinding the heck out of this game, getting every drop of advantage we can get out of this game. 10 more. If I only get 50 per, that's only that's only 500 points. We need more than just rares. Hi, you you look too friendly. You can't do any damage. Man, I believe I've used some voids that I shouldn't have as food in the past. Come on. Come on. Oh, we got this guy again, a double. We got him before. Keep on moving. One legendary, please. One. We're getting, we're getting, we're getting duplicates now. Only six more left. I need more than 50 a pop. Here's an epic. Here's an epic. It's Scathix. Scathix. Another frog man. Man, he's weird looking. Let's see if he's any good. All right, a 3.5. He could have some use inside of the game. At least we're getting more greens out of him. Let's actually check him out. Attacks one enemy and has a 30% chance of placing a 30% decrease speed debuff for two turns. Oh, I like that. I like the decreasing the speed. We could also then get a, up to a 50% decrease speed. Attacks all enemies and has a 75% chance of stealing one random buff from an enemy. Removes all debuffs from all allies, then places a block debuffs buff and a shield buff on all allies for two turns. The shield buff is equal to 20% of this champion's max HP. And then at Ascension level three, places a block damage buff on a champion for one turn. All right, I'm less excited about him now, but I've been wrong before, a lot. We'll see. Five more to go. I'm feeling, I'm feeling like we're gonna get some luck. There's another epic, I'll call that luck. I'll call that luck. Harkin Great Blade, yes. All right, she's another ranked at 2.5. At least she's cute. We only have a few more shards to pull, only four. We have gotten a few epics, which did really greatly help us with this event. Let's actually see where we stand. I'm, I'm building some suspense here, okay? Before the champion chase is over, I could potentially get one more, two more from the champion training, and then the classic arena. I could get three more, which is another 350 points when I, when I put together that epic that I get. And I could get that done before the champion chase. Also for the artifact enhancement, I could be good if I get myself enough silver in time. So we will be okay with Champion Chase with only pulling our voids, even if we don't pull anything beyond that today. Cause I'd really like to save my Ancients because there's no extra buff I'm getting from them. As it sits right now, we are at 2000 points. We only need 1000 more to complete this with you guys today. It will be necessary that a Legendary drops in here, unless if we get too many Epics, which isn't gonna happen. Let's dive into the portal. We have four left. Is our luck gonna hit? Bam! No. No, it's a rare. Oh, he's cool looking though. Paragon. I like the name too. A dark elf. He's a cool looking dark elf. Three more to go. At least one epic. There it is. There's an epic right there. Tuhok, the Wanderer. All right, so finally we got an epic with a higher rating. This one at 3.5. So let's take a look at his kit really quickly here. Attacks one enemy two times. Each hit has a 30% chance of increasing the cooldown of one of the target skills by one turn at random. Increases the cooldowns of all the target skills by one turn. Instead, if this champion has less than 50% HP, attacking when he can hit. What is this? Attacks all enemies have a 70% chance of placing a 30% decrease speed buff for two turns. Nice. Also places a 30% increase speed buff on this champion for two turns. Heals the champion by 50% of the damage inflicted if they have less than 50% HP. Wow. So he decreases speed, increases his own speed, and heals him if he's below 50. Attacks one enemy, steals 50% of the target's turn meter. 
has a 70% chance of placing a stun for two turns, steals 100% of the target's turn meter if the champion has less than 50% HP when attacking. Wow. This is crazy. I think this guy's pretty good. It's a five turn cooldown, but we can get it down to a, to a four turn cooldown. And then after Ascended, decreases the damage taken by the champion by 20% when HP drops below. So when he gets weakened, he gets a lot of buffs behind him. I actually really like him. I, I would I would anticipate we see him in the future in some of our battles. That's just a guess. We have to ask the community, what do you guys think? Will he make his way in? Speaking of, why don't we actually look at a couple of comments from the community before we pull our final two shards. This one coming in from El Hoxo 142 saying, Hey man, try triple dipping. Run spider with just tyrant and put food in for champion training. Lift weights while you run spider. Then you're a triple dipper. Not a bad idea. Not the worst idea. I wonder if we can still pull in wins at 10 on spider with food in there. We have a message from Warren right here. He's a member of the channel. By the way, thank you to everyone that decides to become a member. If you want to become a member of the channel, there's a link in the description which directly supports me as well. He says he had a gym session this morning, was 45 minutes into the session, felt a snap, and ended up on the floor in a heap in absolute agony, got taken straight to the emergency room five x-rays later, and confirmed a torn rotator cuff. My gym days are over for at least 12 weeks. He's gutted. On the plus side, I can spend more time in raid building the clan. Team Echo. Dude, I'm so sorry to hear that you got hurt like that, man. It's the worst when you get hurt at the gym and it like hinders your progress. Let's all send a little bit of love right now to Warren in the chat. Hope that he gets better soon, rests up, and uh, heals up quickly. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh my god, and another comment which was a reminder for me. Awesome. Priest Guardian says, hope you get a sweet pull from that prism shard. I forgot we have the prism shards. We gotta pull them today, too. Hopefully we'll get something good out of there because it's epics and legendaries. That's a that's guaranteed for this. Yes, thank you, Priest, for the reminder. Also, Mutant Destroyer, good luck on your Void Pulls. I think that's what we needed. I think we needed his luck to now pull these final two and pull in a legendary. Yes, let's, let's get back into it. And by the way, guys, if you want your comments featured, just be in the comment section. I notice all of them and we just pull out a few. And unfortunately, we just got a rare here. Interceptor, it's like a... Like a female Robin Hood. Last void pull. Last void pull. Let's go. Epic. No, it's a rare. Ah, this guy's new though. Vanguard. All right. Hopefully, hopefully we pulled in a couple of voids that'll be useful, but we are out of void shards. We're not going to pull ancients. There's no special event going on. We could mystery shard the heck out of the rest of it and be okay. We get like 400 points out of it. Actually, we get more because if I do get any rares, they're worth 25, right? Oh, so for champions, if they're not void, common, one, uncommon. So I could get rares and get 10 points, but I could get an epic or a legendary right now from the prism. We need 500 more points. A legendary from the prism shard. If we do our math right here, a legendary from the prism will get me where I need to be. As it sits, we do have the prism shards. I'm very curious if this is gonna give me points in the event. I believe it is. We are essentially guaranteed big points here, and I could summon two of them. So wish me luck, guys. This is where a legendary would come in and be awesome. Can we pull one in? Let's, that's an epic. A new epic though. I don't have this guy. Jingle Hunter and Jingle Hunter at 2.5. Not the best, not the worst. We'll see if we could find a use for him. He's essentially an elf, but we have one more summon. Bring me a legendary. Let's go. It's an epic again. Tennisil. Tenacil, tenacillin, penicillin. Another 2.5 epic. All right, it's okay. No legend, no legendaries today. Gah! Come on, no legendaries today. Did we finish the tournament? Did we at least get, God, did we get it? We did, we did it. We didn't need anything more. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. We will claim this, Boop. that's ours. Let's go, epic book. One of these, Mortal Soul Stone, and then the energy. We're gonna hold the energy for a moment. We have 54 energy. Man, I'm feeling good. And our index shows us all the new champions we've received. Very, very good. No legendaries for us today, guys, but I have to say, I'm, I'm satisfied with the progression in this event. So as we come back into here, we need to do our routine click. We're gonna go with the almost thick line and champion chase tournament. 
complete. We only need one, two, three, four, five more events to be completed. Dungeon Divers, we're gonna finish today. And Champion Training, we could probably come close to finishing today as well. We're looking good. So I'm not gonna sit here with you guys and make you watch me train up a bunch of stuff. That was last episode. I made you deal with that then. But what we will do is we will jump back into Spider because this is essentially where we're gonna live until we finish up Dungeon Divers. And we really don't have a ton more progress that we need to do. We're gonna be able to be successful in this. And even if we have to dip into gems a little bit, but with 350 energy, we need around 500 or so points. We'll be here before we know it. Hopefully we get some good gear drops, which I believe do help us with our progression in this particular event. How did you guys do with all your pulls? I know that by the time you're watching this, it's probably been a few days, but who did you get that you really were happy about? Who did you get that you were very satisfied with? What I'm gonna be doing is setting this up on auto battle. I'm gonna go touch some grass with the dog, see what it's like outside because it looks freaking gorgeous out there and I don't wanna be around this. Do you even know what this all looks like? Here, I'll send you a picture. Yeah. It's where I spend all my day, standing right here or right there as you're looking at it. Guys, I hope you have a great day. Thank you guys for supporting me on the channel, for wishing me luck throughout this video. We didn't get a legendary, but we did complete the challenge, which in the end will lead to our mons. You see how I bring positive thinking to the table here? That's what we do. We sit here, we play raid. We have a great time no matter what happens. Sometimes it becomes a bit much with this fusion, but it's all for the fun of Raid Shadow Legends. Download the game using my QR code or the link in the description. It supports me. Tell your friends about it. Tell your family the next time you go to dinner or a family event. I mean, Easter's coming up, guys. You don't even understand how much that would help me. I appreciate all of you guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day, and I'll see you back in a live stream, I believe tomorrow in Raid. Come through the live. Subscribe so you don't miss it. I'll see you guys later.